What's up, y'all? Sass is TV, and it looks like legendary West Coast rapper X-Rated has been released from prison after 26 years. Now, this picture right here in the video was shared via c Lim, a.k.a. Cuzlo Inc. on Instagram. Shout out to him. I follow him. Thanks for letting us know. And shout out to Brother Lynch. I did not know he posted. I didn't see it on my timeline. I got to go check back up on here. So, okay, I see it now. And now, one of the first outlets to talk about this story was Vlad TV, of course. Now, after 26 years in prison for his role in a gang-related homicide, when he was a minor, West Coast rapper X-Rated is now a free man. Brother Lynch Home shared a photo a different, a photo from of him on Sunday with the caption, Welcome home at official X-Rated 1. Let's work, little bro. Last year, Brother Lynch Home spoke exclusively to Vlad TV about his connection to X-Rated, and he shared his thoughts on the rapper being convicted and having his songs and album cover used against him in court. And he even got an exclusive interview with Vlad as well, over the phone while he, you know, in one of the in one of the prisons where he was talking about his situation, he talked about everything, how he got into the gang, how he got into music, where how he was raised, how he got into shit, um, how he recorded it, what made him come up with certain things, how he get his skills, what got him railroaded, how what was it like in prison, what what changed his what made him change his perspective on gangs, and a lot of different shit. So if y'all want to hear from his side, y'all can check this out. I'll link it in the, the description box and the comment section below. But yeah, man, he has a very interesting history. And I'm not comparing it to Take K's because these two are nothing alike. But it's similar to Take K's except that there's more twists and turns in this era. Immediately, Take K got legal representation. Even though he locked up, he kind of doing more dumb shit. But that's for another video we can just talk about that some other time but yeah i'm just saying that their their cases are a little similar gang related both individuals home invasion which led to someone getting killed and but their outcomes are obviously going to be a little different you know what i'm saying but Oddly enough, he still dropped albums while he was in prison. This guy right here, X-Rated. Even all that time, 26 years, he still put out albums. So that that's crazy enough. And he'll, he'll tell you how he did it, too, in the videos. But, yeah, he's home. That's good to see. And even in the interviews, you can just tell by hearing him talk back like how it changed him, how he learned, and what he learned about people, life, and games while he was locked up. But that's just my piece. I'm not here to judge the man. I'm not a lawyer, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, tell me what y'all think about it in the comment section. Hit the like button, subscribe, share, and comment for more videos. What's your uh, favorite X-rated album? What's your favorite song? What's your favorite line by him? If you're familiar with him, how'd you get into him? Shout out to Cuzlo Inc. and C Lim. And shout out to this. And I made this for one of my big homies, aka he is a subscriber of mine. Shout out to him. You know who you are. So yeah, hit the bell so you can be notified. I'm out of here.